Steroid injections have been used for over 50 years for arthritic joints and today are still commonly used to help reduce pain. So what exactly is a cortisone or steroid injection? Well, essentially it's a cocktail, not the kind you get at a bar, but the kind you get at the doctor's office, of two medications. Typically it's made up of an anesthetic, lidocaine is a very common one that we use, and the steroid. So typically lidocaine and the steroid, these two are mixed together in the injection and those are administered to the patient. How exactly does a steroid injection work? First, let's just go over exactly what arthritis is again. So what arthritis is, it's essentially a wearing away of the cartilage. The rubber coating in the joint wears away, that causes pain. And the lining of the joint called the synovium, that causes inflammation. And that inflammation causes lots of pain. So what a cortisone or steroid injection does, it actually fights inflammation and therefore it will help reduce the pain and very often help increase range of motion in the knee. Okay, so we're going to inject this patient's right knee for arthritis. This is a cortisone or steroid injection. We're coming from what's called a superior lateral point of view. This is an ultrasound and I'll be looking at the screen as I give this injection. So we're coming in, okay. So if you come here, take a video of the screen. Okay, and so my needle is this white line that's coming across and you can see it's in a black space. That black space is the joint space. So this here is the needle. This is the black joint space. And that's how we know that we're in Getting the medicine into the right place in the joint is obviously critical to help relieve a patient's pain. So what exactly is the right place? Essentially, we just have to place the needle inside the joint. And when the medicine is administered into the joint, it spreads throughout the joint, fighting that inflammation. So it's not a point-specific shot like in a tendon. This is medicine that goes in the joint and spreads throughout. Now, because it's so critical to get it in the joint and in the right spot, using certain techniques will help improve that accuracy. So for many years, ultrasound has been used in obstetrics, but is now being used in orthopedics. And using an ultrasound allows us to guide the needle and visually see that it enters into the joint, increasing the accuracy. And by increasing the accuracy of getting the medicine in the joint, improves the likelihood of reducing the pain. How long do steroid injections last? First, unfortunately they don't work in everybody, but they're effective in most patients. Secondly, it usually takes about five, maybe seven days for the injection to fully kick in. And then lastly, some scientific studies show that these injections can last several months, but unfortunately for some people, it may only last a few days to a few weeks. Thankfully, side effects are very rare. The most common side effect is what we call a post-injection flare. So what that means is that sometimes in the joint that gets the injection for maybe a day or two, it could be more painful. And then it usually goes away after that period of time. Another occasional local uh, side effect could be what they call atrophy of the skin or fat if the injection is into soft tissue. Systemic side effects also rare, but sometimes could be some facial flushing that goes away. And for diabetic patients, it can cause a rise in blood sugars. So diabetic patients need to follow that and sometimes speak with their regular medical doctor. So how often can you repeat a steroid injection? So studies have shown that we can repeat these injections at intervals and that can be safe and effective. A scientific study that randomized patients into two groups, one that got injections and one that didn't, found that patients who were getting these repeat injections every three months for up to two years were effective in reducing pain and helping to improve motion. 
And with regard to safety, it showed there was really no difference between the two groups and how their x-rays and arthritis progressed over those years, showing that the steroid was uh, safe for them to use in these patients repetitively. So for many patients who need to have repeat injections, this could be a very safe and effective means. If you're having knee arthritis pain, then a steroid injection may just be the thing that you need. Of course, you always need to check with your doctor before you have any sort of treatment. If you're suffering from knee or shoulder pain and you'd like to make an appointment to see me, then just click up here. If you'd like to learn more about meniscus tears, then check out our video by clicking down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the Manhattan Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Orthopedic Update, then just click on me and you can check out lots of cool videos that can show you how you can get back up on your legs to a healthy and active lifestyle. Thank you.